Welcome to Chicago Heights District 170 STEM Magnet Academy. Currently, the students are engaged in their project Lead the Way or PLTW Automation and Robotics program. At this point, they have gone through quite a few different activities in order to prepare them for their latest challenge. Each group of students has been challenged to create one of ten different tasks that they will then share with the rest of the um, students in their class. As part of this ongoing learning experience, they have worked as cognitive apprentices in the forms of being a computer engineer, a mechanical engineer, and an electrical engineer. In order to get them to the point where they were able to do this, they had to go through a very, very rigorous training where they learned how to program using code. They also had to learn all of the different intricate parts and pieces that were used in their builds. And this time, what they are doing is they are designing in order to match and meet that task. We have to make um, a um, button, which is the bump switch, which will tell the gate to go up or down when we program it. And this will turn the gate 90 degrees up so it can go, so the car can go through, and then it'll turn it down so the car won't be able to go through. We won't need this. This is a light tracker, yeah, but we won't need it for this project. Um, we won't need the wheels neither. Now we're going to plug in our Cortex to the computer so I can download our program and so we can get it for now. And now I'm going to download the program to the robot and we're going to start it. Okay, so I need a bump switch. And now our right motor is spinning. Now it's test the limit and it stopped and we press the bump switch. It was done. And this is our um, grandma elevator build. So basically we had to simulate um, the, the wheelchairs going upstairs, which is an elevator that would take you up. So basically they wanted us to remake it. So what we did was we got two motors and we put it, uh, we attached it to gears. And this would be like the bottom of the stairs. And this is going to to the top of the stairs. Basically, we're going to start here and then we're going to make the motors move exactly how it's supposed to move. That way it will stop exactly right here and then vice versa going back. This is also a Cortex. This is like a, a CPU. And basically what this is, is um, we connect all our wiring to this, our battery to this, um, any um, extra cables to program it, we use this. So this is like the brain of the um, The program that we're using is called Robot C. Oh, I'm about to start rolling. So the name of the coding for Robot C is called Pseudo Code. Um, on here, it's really um, self-explanatory and drag and drop. You can, um, for one, you can do an if and else statement. So, Hi, my name is J.R. Ensminger. I am the Assistant Director of Curriculum and Instruction for our STEM Magnet Academy. These are our students, our 8th grade students, the first class we took last year, and they represent all nine schools in School District 170. Um, in the STEM Academy, our students work on things like coding. Uh, they just had a lesson on PLTW, uh, Project Lead the Way, where they worked to engineer certain designs and things like that. Um, and then they get, you know, the, the basic core curriculum as well. Uh, for physical education, they get Taekwondo or yoga. Who's going to leave the class please? Just talk. Come on. I want you to leave the class. Hands up. Chariot. Face master Fatima. Kunya. Hands up. Carry it. Kunya. Kunya. 50 jumping jacks. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six.
Yoga is a little bit different than saying, okay, we're going to go play basketball, we're going to play something different. I'm going to talk to you the whole time we're doing this. So you need to be paying attention so that you know what you're doing and that you can follow these instructions because they're different. Yoga is always changing. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, fold down, touch the floor. Come back to do this. Curl your toes under, come into downward facing dog pose. A flat on your belly. Cobra pose. Curl your toes back, downward facing dog pose. This time I want you to step your right foot forward. Turn your left foot 45 degrees. Come into warrior one. Front knee is bent. Hold this pose. Breathe. And it's following a nice straight line to your second toe. Bring your right arm down to the top of your thigh. Left arm going to sweep overhead and stretch towards me. Turn to 90 degrees. Inhale, reach your arms up. Warrior two. So your hips are facing our lovely video. And then you're going to take that left arm down to the top of your left thigh. Right arm going to sweep overhead. Warrior 